This video will cover the Extrude Boss and Extrude Cut features. The Extrude feature will elongate the current 2D sketch in a linear direction that is perpendicular to the sketching plane. If you were looking directly down on the sketch, you could not tell how long it was extruded. The Extrude Boss feature is found here in the Boss box on the Part Modeling ribbon. Clicking on the Extrude icon brings up the Extrude Boss dialog. When using this tool, all the options will be located in this dialog box. There are many options, but for right now we'll focus on the Sketch, Type, and Two Geometry sections. Sketch. This will be the sketch that will be extruded. Only a single sketch can be selected and it must be closed. In addition, once a sketch is used in the creation of one feature, it cannot be used in the creation of another feature. Type. This will allow you the option of how you want the sketch to be extruded. To depth, a known or set distance in a single direction. Midplane, a known or set distance that extrudes the material half of the total distance in each direction. To next, extrudes the material until the material reaches a surface. Once the material reaches that surface, it will not extrude any further. To geometry, the entire sketch will be extruded in a direction until each part of that sketch reaches another surface. Two Geometry Target. When the Two Geometry option is selected, this portion of the dialog box will be accessible. When active, a planar face or plane will need to be populated in the Target text box. Here is an Extrude Boss demonstration utilizing this sketch. We are currently in Sketch Mode. We'll bring up the Part Modeling ribbon and select Extrude in the Boss box. A Libre Design will automatically leave 2D mode when a 3D operation such as Extrude is started. In this case, since there is only one sketch to choose from, the sketch box defaults to this sketch. The type box defaults to To Depth. The default depth of 5 inches will work well for this demonstration. When all the parameters are set in the dialog box, a preview of the resulting extrusion is shown in the workspace. Clicking on the OK button completes the extrusion. Notice the sketch was extruded in the positive direction along the z-axis, that is, towards you leaving the original sketch, the backside if you will, on the XY plane. If you wish to edit an extrusion, simply right click on the extrusion in the Design Explorer and select Edit from the pop-up menu. The same Extrude Feature dialog box that was used to create the extrusion will appear with the current values of the extrusion. Notice how the preview in the workspace changes when the extrusion type is changed from depth to mid-plane. With two distance, the sketch is extruded the total distance in a single direction. With midplane extrusion, half of the distance is extruded on each side of the sketch. The midplane extrusion is often used where features are going to be symmetrical in the part. Besides two distance and midplane, there are also the two next and two geometry extruding options. Three separate sketches were created on the ZX plane beneath the extrusion to illustrate the differences between the two next and two geometry extruding options. The extrusion created with the two geometry option will stop as soon as it comes into contact with the selected surface. The extrude boss icon is clicked and the circle sketch is selected. Note for most operations, items can be selected from the design explorer or can be clicked on directly in the work area. For the type, two geometry is selected. If you insert a value in the offset value box, the sketch will extrude to that surface plus or minus the offset value. For the two geometry target, the model is rotated and the slanted face is selected. Once the face is selected, the OK button is clicked and the circle extrudes. When the model is rotated, you can see exactly where the sketch stops during the extrusion process. Notice that the circular extrusion stops at the slanted surface and will not extrude to the next surface. In this example, the triangle sketch is extruded using the two next options, so you can see the difference between the two geometry and the two next extrusion options. Bring up the Extrude Boss dialog and select the triangle sketch to be extruded. In the Extrude dialog box for type, select the Two Next option. You will see an arrow in the model. This arrow shows the direction the sketch will be extruded to. Click the OK button and you will see that the sketch will extrude until it is extruded to all the next available surfaces. Rotating the model allows a better view of the results. This is the difference between two surface and two next. Two surface will stop extruding as soon as it comes in contact with the surface. 
To next, we'll continue extruding until the entire sketch is extruded to the next available surface. If the To Next extrusion option is used to extrude the rectangle in the same direction as the triangle, this error message appears because part of the rectangle will attempt to extend into infinity. This error can be avoided by moving the rectangle so its entire area will extrude to the surface. You could also use the To Geometry Extrusion command to completely avoid the problem in this case. Note, sketching planes are infinite. When a face is selected to be the sketching plane, sketch figures can be sketched anywhere on that plane and not necessarily within the confines of that feature. When the part modeling features are used, the feature will be listed in the Design Explorer with that icon. So if an extrude boss is used, that icon will show next to the feature. If a helical cut feature is used, that icon will be shown in the Design Explorer. Once you learn what the icons are, you will be able to quickly see the features that created the part. If a feature fails, that part modeling icon will have a red X letting you know that the feature is in error. The Extrude Cut feature, found in the Cut box on the Part Modeling ribbon, is very similar to the Extrude Boss tool. The main difference is that this tool will remove material where the Extrude Boss tool adds material. To Depth. This is the same as the Extrude Boss feature, except instead of adding material to the model, it will take material away from the model. In the Extrude Cut dialog, there are some commands that are identical to the Extrude Boss, specifically to Depth, to Next, and to Geometry. Through All. This option will remove material through all the features that were located above the Extrude Cut in the Design Explorer. If items are later added below this feature, they will not be affected by the cut. This is because of the time frame of the Design Explorer. To Geometry. This is the same as the Extrude Boss feature. This feature is useful when a feature always needs to be associated with another feature. In this example, a circle is extruded to the face. Since we are using two geometry, the extrude cut will always extrude to that surface, even if the height of the part changes. In the first example, the part is four inches tall with two inch steps. Now the height of the top portion of the object is raised by two inches, so the object is now six inches tall overall. The extruded cut continues to run to and end at the same surface. When the height of the same section of the object is lowered to a half inch, the extruded cut continues to run from the top surface to the same lower surface. The height of the part is now irrelevant to the extrude cut. The sketch will always extrude to the surface. If you would use the To Distance parameter, the extrude cut would not always cut to the surface. Instead, the cut would have always extended to the distance specified in the Distance section of the dialog box. Note, when using extrude features, either boss or cut, it's possible to add material where there is already material, and also to cut air. Both of these situations can allow you to create features that seem not to appear in the workspace window, but are actually created. To verify that the feature has actually been created, you can look in the Design Explorer and see the feature. This video explained and demonstrated the Extrude Boss and Extrude Cut features. You learned how and when to use the type options in the Boss and Cut dialog boxes to precisely control extrusion height and depth.